My name is Joan Ford, and I want to get start out with a show of hands. Let's see, uh, show of hands, how many shop owners do we have here in the room? Okay, that's pretty much everybody. How many teachers? Some of the same hands going up. How many say it's 5.30, my head is about to explode, and I don't even know what I am anymore? <laughs> well, let me tell you, you are lucky because you saved the best for last, you're gonna have the most information from this session, and you're gonna to go to Checker, the Checker booth, to get everything you need to run really successful class programs and shop programs in your stores. Is that cool? Yeah. Let's see if I can commit to that, keep that promise. Now, those of you who are shop owners, who spend a lot of time in that shop, you have customers coming into your store. Does this sound familiar? I have so much fabric. I gotta use that before I buy anything else. Sound familiar, the show of hands? And it just makes you cringe inside. So here comes Joe Ford with this book and these patterns to tell you shop owners, fabric store owners, to say, come on in and bring your scrap fabric to my store. Well, it makes sense because you're also, you're going to teach, you're gonna have classes, that are very popular. You're going to have an opportunity to demonstrate your favorite brand of ruler, which is? That's what I thought. And so you're also going to, you have an opportunity to demonstrate lots of different notions, as well as allow your customers to use stuff they already have. They are guilty, they feel bad. I know this because I was there. I started this program basically to save myself from my own stash. And so now there's a book. And by the way, did y'all you, did you turn in your, your business cards? Because somebody's going to walk home with this book tonight. And by the way, at the checker booth, which is 2301, is it? There's going to be a book signing, me, that's me, on Saturday. Cut the scraps. Scrap therapy is a program that I developed, again, for my own stash. And it's designed to be a two-part class series. You can, there's so much flexibility in this. There's the book, there's 27 patterns that you can use if your customers prefer a single pattern or if they prefer the book. The, the, um, the idea is you're going to invite your customers to bring their scraps to your store. You're gonna demonstrate the Creative Grids ruler and show them the benefits that they have by using that ruler and get those scraps into sizes that play well together. Where did, oh, Jane's out helping, helping. Now your customers, your customers can, they are, come up here, help me out, because I gotta hold this microphone thing. Bye. <laughs> it's 5.30, it's getting late. Um, so they can, this is not a pattern, it's not a pattern in the book. The scrap sizes are meant so that they work well together. They play well together, the small sizes become four patches, the, the four patches can be sewn right next to your middle size, and your customers can sit and sew their scrap fabrics to their pleasure for as long as you want them. That gets boring after a while. Now some customers will do that. So you want to have an opportunity to provide a variety of patterns and options. And you notice here there's some yardage, there's backing fabric, there's binding fabric. So they're gonna be in your store using their scraps, feeling better, feeling less guilty, and you have an opportunity to talk about selling these scraps or selling the yardage. Also, you've got a captive audience. The cutting workshop is designed to be very straightforward, a very easy class, a two-hour class. You can put that down. <laughs> Arms getting tired? And you walk with So it's your opportunity to demonstrate a variety of notions that you're gonna get from your distributor, your favorite distributor, which is? Yeah. That's what I thought. And so, and so you're gonna benefit from those add-on sales as well. Not only additional fabric sales, but the add-on sales. Now the patterns, the books, you're gonna say, wow, and I gotta rethink how I do my classes. Well, I have a website, scrap-therapy.com, and if you sign up for my e-newsletter, I will send you a password that gets you into the secure area of the site that has tips and hints on how to use some of the tools or suggestions for the notions that, you, that are nice goal lines with some of these patterns that I've produced. Again, there's 
27 patterns. You've got a bunch of them on that piece of paper that are in front of you. In fact, I think everything the checker has is right there on that, on that pattern, on that piece of paper. What have I forgotten? Question. Anybody familiar with the Scrap Therapy program? It's been a wildly successful program for the last two years, and so now it's perhaps a little bit re-energized with a new book, as well as a brand new pattern. Hey, Dana, come on back up. We've got a brand new pattern out of this market. See that one? And some um, placement, too. Marsha can help you with that. This one's called Hot Crossbones. Would you repeat your website? Scrap-therapy.com. If you come by my booth, 1745, I've got some information for you there as well. Way in the back of the bus on 1700. This is called Hot Cross Buns, and it uses um, scraps in hot and warm colors. So here's an opportunity to, to have that value and color class, color theory classes, um, to teach in your store. And again, you're teaching as well as providing a popular class program. So this is the project class. As I mentioned, the cutting workshops so the cutting workshops take your scraps, cut them up to sizes that play well together, and the projects allow you to use those scraps, not just by making four patches and nine patches, but by making lots of different things. You want to see some stuff out of the book? Sure. That one? And Marcia's going to show you this one. These are cover, the cover girls. Uh, this one call, is called Feed Sack Peaks. Again, those of you who know the program already know that there's a bunch of individual patterns. The book contains some of the patterns that were previously published as individual patterns. About half of the patterns in the book have never been published before. And you know where you can get the book, right? Which is checkers. Very good. This was called Feet Stack Peaks and is one of the cover girls. And the pillow um, is oh, using the leftover fabrics and has some three-dimensional details. Now, some of you may notice the bag that I have hanging around my shoulder. It seems like I've been walking around Salt Lake City, been around the airports, been through, through uh, uh, several places. People say, oh, I love that bag. Well, this is in the book. This is called Cheap Frills, and it actually has my stuff in it, so it's, I use it a lot. And so that uses the, bag, the, the scraps in the various sizes, and it's got a little cute little ruffle. Now, how many of you have customers that save those pieces of binding leftovers? They're already cut, they're folded, and they put them in a separate place because they're going to use them someday. This has, the, the ruffle is the binding leftovers. So this has about a quilt's worth of rough or binding in that ruffle. So here again, an opportunity, there's that really cool hot button, as well as some lining fabric, and you can use that your, what's the favorite brand ruler that you like? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. There's that long one, the 24-inch ruler, because you can make a nice long. This is all, this is the quilt as you go. So how many do it with that creative grids thing there, Rob? How many do it with the creative grids thing? Well, we can always do better. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, here's the next opportunity, because there's a new pattern out. Stepping away from the scrap therapy program. I didn't tell you we we're just going to talk about, well, maybe I did tell you we we're just going to talk about the scrap therapy program. But I also want to mention, I don't have the quilt here. It's hanging in my booth. Um, since it's late in the day, I didn't want to have to, to tear everything down and put it up again. It's called Round Town. And it uses the creative grids. I think it's creative. Is it creative grids? Yeah. The double strip, the kaleidoscope double strip ruler. It's one of those weird shaped rulers that has holes in it and stuff. So this quilt looks very complicated. But if you come on down to the booth, I'll do a quick demonstration and tell you why this pattern, you want to have this as your next class featuring that great grids ruler. It's the double strip collides for ruler. It's called the Round Town. And I think the picture of it is on your little brochure. Sorry, I don't have it with me. What else do I have? Oh, oh by the way. When you make that investment in that kaleidoscope double strip ruler, do you really want to have just one quilt? Maybe you want to have some added value and have some other cool patterns that go with it. This summer, not at this market, but this summer, there's two other quilts in the works that will also feature that same ruler. So your customers who are taking your classes can have some added value for that single purchase ruler. So everybody's going to, you're going to have these samples and everybody's going to want that ruler as well as now try out some of the other ones as well. Let's see, what about Snapsack kits? Who's heard of the Snapsack kits? 
The snack sack kits, for those of you who haven't heard about them, this is a traffic generating program. They're small quilts. Can we have some snack sack kits? Dana, come on up, there's three of them. These are brand new snap set kits. There's a new kit provided every month. There's a total, this has been a wildly popular program, both nationally and internationally. New kits, these are meant to be point of sale. The cool thing about them, they have uh, their, the kit, you provide the fabric. I provide everything else that you need to market and, and display these kits. They come in little brown bags with windows. Here. My trip on this cord. This is what this is what you get. You get a package that contains 12 brown brown window bags, just like lunch sacks. There's also instructions, a kitting recipe that includes the fabric requirements for the backing and binding. Most kits don't include backing and binding, as well as 13 patterns and 12 labels. There's 13 patterns because you're going to want to make up a sample and you don't want to. You don't want to take one of your, pa your patterns away from one of your kits. So you can give that extra pattern to your sample maker as well as a fabric kit and they can make up your sample. And then you're going to cut your fabrics into sizes that really are easy to kit. They're either 21 inches or something by 21 or something by 42. And we all know that that's either one cut or one cut on the bulk plus the second one on the fold. There's no weird sizes or five by whatevers. Or it's, it's all simple um, fitting. So it's very easy and fun to do. This also, because the backing and binding and all the other extras are included in the kit, allows you to feature those and the bolts that are beautiful fabrics, but they're hanging around and they're sitting on the um, for sale shelf. There's about a yard and a quarter Yard, yard to yard and a half of fabric that goes into each one of these kits, and this is fabric that's coming off your fabric wall, and they are uh, a really great value because it's eighteen dollars. I think that works out to a dollar fifty per kit. You add the fabric, a dollar fifty for everything else, and it's a really cute point of sale opportunity. Could be a class as well, and you can feature that that ruler, what the the what the. Great grids ruler, yeah. So you can bring those into play as well. Regatta, the three that you saw, regatta, blueberry twist, and um, sunflowers are there. So then, then there's more. You guys like, how many people like kits in their, in their shops? Like easy kits in their shops? How about eight half yard cuts? Is that easy enough for you? Yeah. 16 fat quarters? Anybody do fat quarter sprees or fat quarter? So we have the Chunky. These are the Chunkies. This is Chunky, chunky Half. There's also Chunky Quarters. And this is eight half yard cuts, plus a big chunky binding that would make a great demonstration in your store for a special occasion. Uh, but the, so easy to kit. Let's say you're out on the, on the floor, you're buying fabric.